But let's test this puppy out. Ooh. And it died. Oh, 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 oh. oh, was that the access port? Is that the cob access port? Oh wait. So, oh yeah. uh, in the box. <laughs> in the box you'll find the cob itself. Ooh, access port. So we got a manual. What else we got? Ooh, foam. Hold on, dude, the foam. Don't go so past the foam. This is about all you really need to install it. Jeez. So it comes in this cool, like, carrying zip case. It's like a hard shell case. So we have, obviously, the Cobb Access Port V3 right here. Uh, and then what else comes in there, Cody? So uh, the Cobb V3 looks like a cell phone. Cable to connect it to your computer, which I believe is a micro, US, uh, micro USB. And then as well as a different faceplate and holder for it. Ooh. The USB cable that connects to it. And then also uh, the holder that you can, I know Chris is not gonna use it, but whatever. So now we're gonna plug this in to the OBD team. Mm-hmm, what's that called, Cody? OB, <laughs> OB1 what? How's that plug in down there going for you, Cody? It's going great. Yeah, you need, it's been a long should day. the viewers come help you? Cause it, do you want Gerald to help you? Is it how, is it right there? Is that, is that how easy it is? Not as easy as easy rental car. Cody! So it's plugged in there, and then the other end goes into, I would assume, Cody, our Cobb access port. Nope. Plug this bad boy in, it'll turn on for the first time, and we'll have to install it on our car. So this this is a process called marrying it, uh, also installing it, but you're basically marrying it to the car. One of the annoying things of most Subarus is that the green test connectors that are needed to use the Cobb access port, oh, by the way, Sponsor us, Duncan. Uh, are located on the passenger side footwell, so not where you plug in your OBD connector. OBD, right? Yeah. Learning. They're actually on the passenger side footwell, so Cody's gonna access those and connect those so we could run our tune. Cop. Our cob tune, whatever we want. Yeah, cob tune. Cob salad. Cob knob, cob knob. There's a little access port coming up here. So we just plugged in the OBD, turn the car on, turn the cob on. We're gonna install it to the car. Very simple. Honestly, just a couple clicks. And we're gonna scroll down to choose which stage we want to flash the car to. And to play it safe right now, we're gonna stay, we're gonna flash the car to stage two. And we run 93 gas around here in New York. In some areas, you have to run other gas. You have to choose different options. Uh, if you live in different states to some certain states require a couple uh, different options. So now it says, what's it say? Now connect the green test mode wire. So that's what Cody's gonna do now underneath the passenger footwell. Please wait while the access port initializes the communication with your vehicle. So make sure you guys have- Now unplug it! Make sure you guys someone have a good charging battery too. Make sure you haven't had it on accessory mode all day or something like that. Make sure you haven't had your lights running all day. Make sure you have a nice charger battery because this could take a little while. Although with the new access port V3s, as you guys can see, it's already at 8%. They do move pretty quick. So Cody, <laughs> while this is installing to our- While this is installing to our car right now, do you want to tell the people why it's important to use a Cobb access port or why it's beneficial to use a Cobb access port? Not really. Uh, it's very important because Supers are very... Fucking... Supers are very finicky, I guess you can say, very sensitive to any modification. We installed an intake, we installed a downpipe, and we installed an intercooler. The intercooler and downpipe, it can kind of run, but the intake, it won't even start. It starts and dies right away. So it's very important as soon as you do a major modification, even most minor modifications to these cars, you get a tune. Uh, the Cobb is very powerful in the, the preloaded tunes, but it doesn't hurt, it never hurts to get a pro tune. So that's kind of what we're doing right now. We're gonna put a band-aid on the car until Monday and get a full tune. You could run on some of these tunes though in theory, right? You could you just can, yes. install minor things and then just mm -hmm. run straight from the Cobb tune itself, plug this in, yep. do your flash tune, and then be good to go. Yep. Our Cobb is now officially married to the vehicle. It is installed onto the vehicle, the Cobb software. Now what it's doing is flashing the car to stage two. And you guys can see it's already at 5%. This is a cool thing with all the uh, access port V3s. They Shut up! They move really quick and they're really <laughs> they're really efficient and they move really quick. So that's the great thing about Cobb's new Access Sport V3. So don't go and pick up a V2 or an older one. Go to Cobb's website and get a brand new Access Sport V3 for yourself. Treat yourself. Treat yourself. Maybe pick up a Cobb now while you're there. Okay, guys. So now our Cobb Access Sport has alerted us. So please turn and leave the ignition to the off position to begin vehicle something. So Cody's gonna go ahead and turn it to the off position. Is that off or is that? Accessory. Oh, it was right. Cody was right. Why did I even doubt you, Cody? I would. Oh no, Cody, they know my hiding spot now for my for my radar. Fuck. Please turn the just get to the on position. You got it, Cobb. 
Installation successful. Hey, buddy. Turn the key to the off position for at least 15 seconds before starting vehicle. Got it. One, two, three, four, Spaghetti. five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, ten eleven. We're not doing this together. Twelve. Fourteen. Thirteen. F uh, what are you fucking losers? We have to count to fifteen. Fifteen. Count, say fifteen. Fifteen. Yeah. yeah. Go ahead. Press the button. Remember to connect the access port manager for new update. Oh, guess we're not oh, cool. remap. Cool. So, boom, boom. Guess who remapped, baby? Guess who remapped? Boy. Oh. So some of the cool features of the Cobb. Uh, not only do you have gauges, you have performance, which is zero to sixty quarter mile times. You have uh, troubleshooting. So if you have an engine uh, check engine light come on, you can scan it. Uh, tune so you can change your tunes. Check the current tunes. Like well. radio? Like the radio songs? Oh my god. And you can also uninstall it. So let's do that now. <laughs> just so what we're going to do is uh, just change them around. I'm going to make one uh, boost gauge, oil tap. And Probably going to be the most important one, right? The boost gauge. Boost! Big boost! boost. Big boost. boost! So there's tons of different things you can do. As you guys can see, as Cody's scrolling down this list, there's tons of different things you can monitor and watch. Uh, but Cody's going to set it to a couple of few things. Few things. First one he set was boost, and now we're going to go and set... Some what other else? things. What else are you going to set, Cody? Knock some. Have you ever had knock some soup? Yep. <laughs> so, Cody, shut it off first. Off position, then turn it all the way back on. So this is gonna be the first startup of the Subaru with all the Grim Speed parts. We put in the Grim, we put in the Grim Speed downpipe. We put in the Grim Speed cold air intake. We put in the Grim Speed top mounted intercooler, and we also put on a blow off valve, which we have that popped up right now. Or... Oh, so it's okay. It's closed right now, so we're not gonna worry about that. And we have a flash the car to stage two to run on 93 gas, because that's what we can do up in here in New York. So this will be the first startup uh, with all these goodies. Neutral or six gear? One boat. And it died. But. Looks like I have three cars now. So, so far, the car wouldn't start, uh, it just dies right away. Uh, so we're trying to figure out, it seems to be a problem with the mass airflow sensor, um, or something similar. We're trying to figure out what is the issue, what Cody is at least. Uh, yeah. Push me! Yo, remember when we were doing your cob and stuff like that, and we kept having the issue with the mass airflow sensor? Like it wouldn't start? Yeah. With it unplugged, it's got a leak, it's got a push leak. Okay. It's got a wicked big boost leak. It's got to be big. That's just like, what was my issue was... Yeah, Janine said, didn't you go to school for automotive? Yeah, I did. And then my best friend who had WRX that kept popping Y-pipes and shit, I knew he had the same issue, so that's why I called you. <laughs> Face, facial... Ooh, that sounds weird. Here we go. Fingers crossed. Hey! Hey, it's staying on. It's staying on. Wakey, wakey, it's on. The car is running. <laughs> stage two. We have a stage two legacy wagon. Yo, that's dope. Cody. Fuck yeah. Hey, garage boy. Thank you. I know you're tired. Ant went through a lot today. Oh, 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 shit. Hold on. Hold on, hold on, hold on. Oh, dude, that sounds so mean. Yo, that's a big old difference. That's a big old difference. Damn. Take the first little, first little pullish. Okay, sure. And second. Sounds cool. So basically, we got that first start that you guys just saw because of the Cobb Access Port V3 that Cobb supported us with. So thank you, supported, supplied us with. Thank you so much to Cobb for hooking up us. Thanks. Thank you.
We're gonna try again. Thank you so much to Cobb for hooking up the access port V3 to allow us to get this puppy started after all the installs we got done in it today. Uh, we flashed that stage two for 93 octane gas on there and we were able to get everything started and now we can drive back home and get ready for our Pro Tune on Monday. Obviously, none of this would be possible without the access port. That is a extremely, extremely vital step in really any somewhat intense modifications you're gonna be doing on your engine, no? Yep, that was super terrible. Why? Gerald's back there. He's chilling. If you guys are interested in picking up an access port for your vehicle, the link will be down below to Cobb's website. You guys can go ahead and check them out. Like we said, it's almost 100% necessary. So pick one up. You guys can go ahead and flash your own tunes on there and get back straight on the road. Thank you guys so much for watching. Thank you to Cobb for supplying us with the V3. And uh, we'll see you guys in the next one. Flash your tune, flash your dick. I didn't wait until the end. I was going to okay. say when you said Cobb it. Cobb knob. Cobb knob. Cobb knob.